Hello everybody and welcome back to another video from HSTV and today's video is very different. Um, I know that I was going to post the third part of the note deck series today but um, unfortunately that's been delayed slightly so I, it will be coming um, probably midweek or um, next weekend it will be out but for this week I thought to do something quite different and um, as you can see in the title it says my experience in Pakistan and um, it's actually more of a work experience documentary that I made in 2018 when I was yet to apply to medical school and I did some work experience abroad to see how um, the healthcare systems compare with the ones in the UK versus in Pakistan and because I still had my love of filmmaking and production and editing um, back then as well I actually made a little documentary um, and I filmed all my experiences as much as I could and I didn't really do much with it afterwards I just got so busy with school and everything that it kind of got a bit neglected. So it is being used at my old school um, in some of the courses to teach about uh, primary healthcare abroad but I didn't really do much else with it. So I'm now going to post it on my YouTube channel in this video. It's a little bit long so I will try to leave timestamps down in the description so you guys can get a feel for how things were. And yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy it. Let me know if you like this sort of thing. I might do a bit more of it. Um, but it is just all about healthcare systems in Pakistan, my work experience there, and just kind of how life in Pakistan is as well. So I hope you guys enjoy. Um, do leave me comment down below as well to let me know how you guys found it um, or go and follow the Instagram as well at HSTV official um, and let me know how you guys found it but other than that I'm just gonna let you guys watch and yeah I will see you all next week goodbye <laughs> basic health unit that we're going to is about 30 to 40 minutes away um, so me and my dad are just going to drive up. I uh, just thought I'd tell you that I'm just going to put some mosquito and insect repellent wipes on. Um, not sure how rural this place is because I've never been there before but um, good to be on the safe side and yeah pretty excited hopefully it should be good and I will try to record as much as possible.
डिपेंडिंग डॉट 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 डॉट
The next room that we see can also be used by the midwife or another doctor and again there is a refrigerator for vaccinations. We then go into the labour room. This is where newborns can be delivered and basic facilities are available such as nebulizers. The next room we see is the ward. This ward consists of only one room with a couple of beds on it and no patient is admitted overnight just for a couple of hours to see if your condition gets any worse and if it does, they will be referred until they the hospital. The room is well aired with open windows and there's an attached toilet as well. And now it's time to get a tour of the outside. This union council is how much? How much? How much? How much? This union council is 17,000. Approximately. This is the old building. Condom building. This is new building. This is the old building. Okay. And having a long area. This is the reason. This is to dispose the uh, syringes and other material. This is the incinerator. So yeah, just had a first tour, we had a little chat with the main doctor who's in charge here. Um, already there's so many differences to Scotland and here, like the fact that we're in such a rural place right now um, is quite amazing. Quite lucky that I have this opportunity to be here. Um, all together. Um, normally they were saying that there's more staff around but um, today they're doing a bit of a measles campaign um, where they're going around the village and vaccinating children um, against the disease. Uh, so hopefully somebody will come in um, and we can see and there is somebody coming in right now. Um, not sure if she works here or if she's just coming in.
dentist there, she has some sort of allergies, so she's getting an injection for that and some medication, and then she'll be fine to go. Um, yeah, if it, if it was anything serious, then the, the doctors here would refer her to um, the next level up. Um, and yeah. So that's just um, a little girl who's coming with her mother and um, something wrong with her eye and hopefully get sorted pretty soon. Um, yeah. Yeah. You know, it's not as hot today. Um, it's October time, so normally it does um, cool down a little bit. Um, so it's not as hot, um, and that is very scary because I can hear rattle. I can hear a rattle of a snake. I'm pretty sure. So I'm gonna go back in right now. As I was saying uh, about the measles campaign, um, so the doctor's just given us permission, me and my dad, that uh, we can just come along with him and we can go and see how the measles campaign works. Um, so some exclusive access for us. Um, and yeah, let's go. Uh, just got in the car and we're off to go and meet somebody in their house. And see how the measles campaign works.
these injections in different doses. ठीक है तो सुबह से कितने को हो चुके हैं तकरीबन 600 से 700 ये बॉक्स है इसके अंदर वैसे में होगी ठीक है इसके अंदर जो है वो वैसे जो रूटीन की पेपर मंथली जो है ना तो हर घर में जा के नौ करके घर के बाहर नंबर लगा करते हैं ये जो स्पेशली सिर्फ मीजर की है ना इसमें हम किसी एक विलेज में जाके एक जगह बैठेंगे अनाउंसमेंट हो जाएगी स्पीकर में इस जगह पे हम बैठे हुए हैं पूरा फिर हमारे तीन चार सोशल मोबलाइजर है मतलब ये सोशल मोबलाइजर है ठीक है ये जाके सबको पहले जाके बता देगा जी उधर हम बैठे हुए पीछे निकला दी ग्रह कवर हो चुका है सारा इधर जितने भी चाइल्ड हो गए उनमें से देखते रहेंगे किसी का कोई फैमिली का कोई बाहर गया हुआ ये वगैरह उसका नाम नोट है इस मुहिम के दौरान आखिरी दिन तक जहां वो अपने रिश्तेदारों से वापस आ जाए इधर आ जाए वो कवर होगा तो फिर हम लेंगे एन ए जो है वो जीरो हो गया मतलब आज की शाम की बोर्ड में जो आएगी उसको लिखेंगे कि एन ए जो है ना इतने वजह उसकी क्या है फिर दूसरे दिन तीसरे दिन एन ए में से इतने कवर हो गए इतने कवर हो गए सारे कवर हो जाएंगे तो इसका मतलब हमारा हो जाएगा फिर वो डब्ल्यू एच ओ की तरफ से बाहर से इधर से टीमें आएंगी और वो इधर चली जाएंगी डब्ल्यू एच ओ की टीमें आती ना आप लोगों के यूके से इधर से अंग्रेज उनको बताते हैं वो इधर गाँव में निकल जाते हैं उनको कहते हैं आप छोड़े वो जा के ना खुद ही रैंडमली रैंडमलीस लार्ज स्केल पे जो है ना तो वो देखते हैं कि दस घर इधर से दस घर से वो इधर से चले देखा कि कोई नहीं है तो फिर एल पास है जब एल पास है तो फिर कहना any children coming in um they'd already done about 100 so that must have been most of the children in the area done um the ladies also didn't um allow me to film them so unfortunately I couldn't really record much over there however we're back now we actually should be going home soon um but yeah for some who are out on the streets begging for money alone cold and don't have any hope for the future
The next place we get to visit is the Holy Family Hospital with Dr. Tarek Sheikh in the paediatrics department. This hospital is a lot bigger than the basic health unit and it has all different types of facilities and departments. Okay, so I'm not really allowed to film that much, obviously, um, for privacy reasons, but right now I'm uh, getting ready to go into OT and see um, uh, C-section surgery. Um, so this is the outfit just now, looking pretty good. Um, and yeah, so so far it's been good. As I say, I'm not allowed to record that much because this is a bigger, more public hospital. So for that reason, um, I am going to just record myself in some places and just not record. Alright, so um, as I was saying before, unfortunately I can't film that much. However, I've been in surgery and I've seen um, some babies um, getting checked. Um, the babies who perhaps were not um, as healthy when they were born, I've checked um, that ward. And yeah, it's been quite good. Um, just thought I'd do a little update. We should be going home soon actually. Um, and yeah. After a long, amazing day of work experience at the Holy Family Hospital, it was finally time to go home. Unfortunately, I couldn't get any footage with Dr. Tarek Sheikh because he was so busy on the ward. Obviously, this was a priority and we all had to accept that. Our next visit was to Dr. Asif Butt again, however this time to his own private clinic. Uh, so right now we have arrived at um, the Mr. Asif Butt's um, clinic. At the moment this is his own clinic. So some of the days he does some work out in the village and other days um, he's in his own clinic. So I just got a pop in and
might be able to see that this space here is not a wall at all. This is a pharmacy area and they've got some sort of basic injections, medicines, antibiotics. Um, the doctor just sits around there. Um, so you want to show you some that's where um, the doctor sits and this, this, this little area here um, is where they keep their medicines and issue the medicines. Really other than that, other than this little bed behind you, um, there's nothing really there. It was now time to leave Dr. Asifbutt's private clinic, and in fact, tomorrow morning was my flight back to Edinburgh. When I first came to Pakistan, I came for a work experience. However, I quickly found out that Pakistan itself was an experience, and I was lucky enough to be able to record and visit all of these wonderful places. watching this documentary I hope you enjoyed it I enjoyed making it a lot of experience hard work and effort went into this um, so I hope you enjoyed it but I put this little clip together just at the end to say some special thank yous and I guess let's start off with my dad thank you so much dad you're a super dad because you helped me to get there you helped me to arrange everything um, you helped pay for the flight so I appreciate that a lot and you also helped me do some of the camera work so thank you very much for that I appreciate it Thank you number two goes to Dr. Asif, but thank you very much for letting me do work experience with you. The work you're doing in Pakistan is great and keep doing it because you're helping so many people. Thank you number three is to Dr. Tariq Sheikh at the Holy Family Hospital. Again, the work you're doing in Pakistan is fabulous and I had a lot of fun doing work experience at the Holy Family Hospital. Going on OT was one of my favourite bits. So I really appreciate that. Thank you number four is to Dr. Aisha, also in the Holy Family Hospital. Um, it was great going around with you and I really um, you know, enjoyed my experience there. So um, thank you to all these people who helped put this documentary together. I hope that you enjoyed watching it and I guess that's it for me. Thanks. So guys, I'm just filming really quietly just now. This tortoise was moving just a second ago and it's decided to stop moving again. I'm just gonna wait here and just zoom in so I don't have to get up too close. Hopefully it moves again. Come on. He 
He was about to come under our car. Yes, 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 he's gonna come, he's gonna come. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, yes, yes. There's a road behind him, and I think he's scared of the cars. His head up. Yes, yes, he's gonna, he's gonna go, 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 go. No one is gonna hurt you. You're safe. Come on. Yes, we got him to move. Look at that. So cool. That's so cool. Wow. Oh my God. He's going. Oh.